Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech, and uh, we're going to be showing you how to do a three-dimensional um, automotive alignment today on your car. Four-wheel drive. All right. All right. So we'll be uh, demonstrating the alignment on a Dodge Dakota today. Big old. Using our awesome Hunter alignment machine that does uh, tow, caster, camber with three-dimensional view, and we can also check our thrust angles. So we'll show you how to do that today. First step is to get the vehicle safely on the lift. Make sure that all the turn plates are put in with all the slots in. Get the tires basically centered on the racks. Um, we had to push the truck a little further forward because it's too long. So we do that. Next step will be to grab those turn things that he's grabbing right there, which are computer sensors that feed to the Hunter machine. And we're going to set them up on the tires. Um, what you do is you get the bottom tabs in first right underneath the rim. I don't know if you can see that. Get those in first, then pop the top ones in, and this little screwing mechanism puts it on there. Give it a good tug to make sure it stays on the tire. And then your last step is to take this pin right here and lock it on, lock it on the rim so that if this very expensive piece of machinery falls off, it'll get caught by the hook. So what this does is it sends a signal from the tire, shoots it all the way up to that little computer sensor up there, which feeds it to the Hunter machine and it reads us our values for the alignment. Um, once we've got all those on, we're going to check them all, make sure they're all on safe, make sure all the hooks are on. Um, check your tire pressure. The tire pressure needs to be about 35 psi for each tire and they all need to be around the same. Um, you need to check your trim height here to check for sagging suspension parts, otherwise um, your alignment will come out faulty. So once we do all that and you have all that good to go, then we can actually start our alignment procedure to check for our toe, camber, caster, and thrust angle. All right, now we're just leveling the truck. Um, what we do is we put all these turn plates down here. And what these are doing is, this is leveling the rack out so that it, the truck is sitting level so it doesn't roll back and forth. So we, so we have it off the ground right now just to check all the tire pressures so they can be at you know, chest height. And now we'll drop it down slowly and put them down on the centering pins. And now they're down. All right, so we just uh, completed the rolling compensation test. Um, basically, I don't need to video that. All you do is you roll the car back and forth as the computer tells you to, and it gives you little arrows that you center it on. And once it says it's centered, you chalk the wheels. Then you install a brake pedal depressor, and you align the steering wheel using these guys right here. That would be the brake uh, pedal depressor right there. It just goes up against your seat, pushes the brake pedal. In. And then we're also going to want to align the steering wheel too. All right, so now we're just going to turn the wheel back and forth so that it uh, centers itself so then we can start the alignment procedure. Just turning the wheel, gets it in the green. No more. Right there. Okay, good there. All right, now it's going to tell us to go the other way. The other way, keep going. Keep going, keep going. A little more, you're good. You're good, Dad. She's a girl, you expect. Okay, straight out. No, she fell. Good. So now it straightens the steering wheel out and then we lock it. <laughs> Alright, so now the steering wheel things in, mounts up against the seat, keeps the steering wheel stationary while we do all of our measurements. Alright, so these are the measurements we're getting from our machine. We've got our thrust angle and we've got our caster camber in tow. So we're gonna, well I can show you caster for one. Caster will be the the forward and back movement here of the suspension, like the strut assembly. Um, your camber, actually, let me show you here. Your camber will be the movement this way and that way of your tire when it's sitting flush. And then your toe would be where the tire sits while it's stationary. So your tires could be bowed to the left or bowed to the right. So 
thrust angle looks okay. It's still in the green, so we're gonna go up here to the front since we're not gonna touch anything in the back. Even though the back is what you work on first. And as you can see, our toe's out. <laughs> All right, so what we got here is caster that we're uh, changing. It was about four degrees out. It was about at the four degree marks was in the red. And all we're doing is moving these little elliptical circles right here. We have them on the front and back of the A-arms. And they just change just to show you how that turns and how that actually measures. You can see that the hole is not centered, so that when it when you're turning it, it pulls this in, it pulls the actual A-arm in and out, which changes your camera and caster. Which one? And every time it turns that, we're changing the measurement a little bit. We're talking tenths of a degree here. So you can see it moves it in the wrong direction, so we turn it back the other way, and it should center it in the green. Once we get it centered, we'll walk it up. All right, so now that we have the camera and the caster adjusted in the green on the left side, we will torque our bolts back down so they're tight, so they don't back out. Use a torque wrench. Don't use your judgment. So for this side, it's the same thing. I'm just gonna loosen up both of these little out of round, weird circular things that basically change the camber and caster angles of the A-arm. So we back them out a little bit so then we can adjust them. And once we get them in the green, we tighten them back up with a torque wrench with the vehicle torque specifications. All right, and so our measurement for tow, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this tie rod end right here. We're gonna loosen that lock nut back it out a tiny bit. You don't want to loosen it too much. And then you'll put a wrench right here as well. So you'll have two wrenches. You have one right here on this thing, slotted for a wrench, and then you'll loosen up that lock nut. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna back this in, uh, in or out, depending on which way your toe's out, if it's negative or positive. And then um, once you get it in the green, you'll tighten up that lock nut while holding that uh, tie rod black heart stationary. And uh, hopefully it stays within spec. Sometimes it'll go out a couple degrees. So you just kind of play around with it. Sometimes you'll have to go, you know, five degrees, negative or positive when you're tightening it up and then it'll zero out once you tighten it because of that like initial movement of the torquing. So that's how you do toe on most cars for the front. It's gonna be the same on both sides. Toes, definitely the last thing you do. And also when you're doing alignment, always do the rear end first because that directly affects your front end. All right, so uh, after you've got your caster, your camber, toe and your thrust angles all in the green, uh, make sure to do a printout and also make sure that you had a printout done before you actually worked on the car to show how it was beforehand and to show how it was after. Um, after you do all that stuff, you want to make sure to put all your tools away, double check all your torque specifications, make sure that you bolted everything back up, make sure you printed the, the sheet out to show the customer or show yourself that you actually did the alignment. Then you're going to want to take the uh, car and get it safely off the lift, make sure to remove the brake depressor, make sure to take off the steering wheel locking thing, make sure to raise the, uh, put the turn plate pins back in before you take the vehicle off the hoist, um, lower the hoist all the way down slowly and pull the vehicle off and then take it for a test drive and make sure that it's actually tracking straight and not doing anything funny. And then you're all done, that's your alignment. See you next time.